Okay, so we're going to develop an e-portfolio for the students at Marist College Penshurst Year 10 Geography. And what we're going to do is create this in Google Sites. We're going to make it a site template. And by doing this, the students will able, be able to download that and then essentially make it their own. So we're in Sites. Um, the way to get there is obviously through your Apps Grid sites and we're going to now create this site now you'll see by default it um, within our sid.catholic SID environment it um, highlights the basic site template don't use that because it uh, requires a lot of undoing I'm just going with the blank site template to start with and my name of my uh, e-portfolio is going to be issues in the Australian environment okay um, you can see here that sites they create a unique URL so no two site can have the same URL that is sites.google.com yada yada issues in the Australian environment so that's why we're using a template where the kids make a copy of the site okay so um, the themes are all there um, that's an aesthetic thing and what once the student uh, essentially creates their own site based on this site template they can choose any of these themes and change the color and appearance and look and feel those sorts of things so I'm just going to go with um, something fairly simple to start with more options is the metadata around the site so I might put in geography here so if this site was publicly available you know um, I might put in ePortfolio as a category um, this ePortfolio will be used by Maris Penshurst students in assessment task 3 geography. Okay, so I'm hitting create now. So you can see it looks um, fairly bland, etc. at the moment, but that's, um, that's what we want. We want the kids to be able to sort of make it their own. And what, what we're going to do is we're going to develop a little um, uh, site header up here, our banner image, which we will um, model to the students exactly what we want there. Now, um, just to explain the site appearance here, we've got what's called a sidebar down the left-hand side here. And we've got our main contents area of the site. And we've got our site header up the top here so um, I'll just show you what happens if you create pages from scratch they'll just literally dump them down the side here in the sidebar but um, in terms of look and feel a horizontal navigation bar is generally preferable but um, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so what I'm going to do now is just create a new page up the top here we've got editing a page or create a new page um, once our assessment task is developed the way we would put that into the pages we would edit the page and we could then go in and insert that document from Drive and it's going to embed our assessment task nicely into that page okay that's our home page now I'm going to create a new page and the name of my page is going to be aim it's going to be at the top level of my site and I literally hit create so you can see there the benefit of a um, of a sidebar is it automatically populates that page in the navigation structure there so I've got home I've got aim now on the um, the aim page you'll see there that um, again this is just my site page where I can go in type in the necessary text I can go and insert things like a table of contents text boxes YouTube clips etc so all of those things will can be contained within our within our aim page but this is going to be the um, useful part for both teachers and students for delivering feedback um, to the students and that can be done via the comments on the bottom of each page okay 
So that's, um, that's where we're going to be doing that. So my suggestion now is just to go through and we create the remaining pages that uh, will contain the necessary data for the ePortfolio. Okay, so we have created essentially the scaffold of our um, site. We've got all our pages. Okay, so now we're going to set up our um, navigation structure across the top here. And you can see the um, Kylie's not a big fan of the sidebar here. And one of the limitations of the sidebar is the fact that we uh, can't order this. So we're going to set up our horizontal navigation. Okay, so to do that we go to the gear. So the gears generally in Google means going to settings. We're going to edit the site layer and up the top here you can see that these two buttons are pressed. I'm in the header of the site which is here and the sidebar is switched on. So I'm now going to deselect that which turns off the sidebar and I'm now going to put in some horizontal navigation and you can see that it's put there a home button all right one of the um, I suppose downfalls of sites is that the horizontal navigation doesn't automatically populate so it means a manual thing that we just need to do that won't take us long at all okay so I'm here at home I click on this part of the navigation button that uh, bar that I want to edit which is here and here at comes up with a screen where I say configure navigation so this gives me the opportunity to put in those pages I go to add page and here I'm going to aim choose OK and you can see that it's dumped that there the next page is going to be data I choose that one and that appears there so it is a manual process, but um, the benefit is that it allows you to, for it, it to appear the way you want it to. So you can't initially set it up horizontally? Um, no, you can't. You create the pages first, then you, then you do that. Right. Okay, okay. So, yep. so we've got techniques, we've got processing, we've got actions. We've got bibliography, and we have acknowledgement. Okay, so once we've done that, you can see that all of those are at the top level, so they all appear across here. If there are any sub pages, we can use this out denting feature. So, see how that links out there. Um, so we'll leave that there for the moment, and we hit OK and you'll now see that comes across as a horizontal navigation bar. Okay, Okay, so we're going to uh, make this navigation bar uh, justified across the page. It's again a little bit fiddly. By the way, Google um, acknowledged that sites is a bit clunky. Um, but anyway, we'll, we go to um, manage site And in themes and colors, buried right down the bottom here, in themes and colors, um, you can see horizontal navigation and um, what you can then do is go to layout and you want it to appear in the center. So it appears in the center there. Again, we can change the appearance of this. Um, and you can allow, you know, spacing between all of them. So it might be 10 pixels or let's just uh, save that for the moment. So you can see that's the way it looks. All right. So let's just, um, let's just drop it back to five there for a second because it looks a bit, yeah, that looks a bit better. Okay. So we've, um, we've center aligned our navigation menu. And once we've done that, we just hit save. And if we then go back to here, this is what our site currently looks like. Okay. Now, um, things like your search this site, I would get rid of. Um, and we're going to get rid of the this issues in the Australian environment because we're going to have a nice little banner image there. Okay. So, um, what I'll do is just in manage site, 
I'm just going to show untick show site name at the top of pages and over here in um, over here in configure search I'm just going to um, untick that search site and save <coughs>